Alrighty folks, welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. So as you can tell, it has rained a lot here. I get literally rained for probably two days straight. The water level was really high and that's the best time to go snakehead fishing. And yeah, that's what this video is going to be about, snakehead. Now snakehead are invasive, but I honestly don't feel like they make too much of an impact. Where you can catch giant snakehead, you can usually also catch some pretty big bass too. Oh God, it's pretty windy. Hopefully the audio is fine. But snakehead are a really fun species to target they're really aggressive they love eating top water and they fight super hard so I love catching snakehead but basically this is going to be a video on how I catch snakehead and then I'll show you guys a bunch of snakehead I've caught so as I said before it rained a ton and the best time to target snakehead is after it rains they love to come up shallow and just rest up against the bank and they just wait for bait fish to swim right past them or in this case a topwater frog and then they just destroy it sometimes they follow it up all the way right to your feet and then hit it at the last second but basically how I catch snakehead is I usually use topwater either a hollow bodied frog or a soft plastic frog and I just cast right up parallel to the bank and then just slowly reel it or work it down the bank and yeah usually a snakehead will come out from the bank and just destroy it also if it rains a lot and the water level is really high another way I catch snakehead is to cast to the weed line and then bring it back to shore and that will usually draw out some snakehead when the water level is too high a lot of times they won't sit right up on the bank but they'll swim out deeper and hang out in the weeds. So yeah, I just cast till the weed line and bring it back. So that's how I catch snakehead. It's pretty simple really. They'll hit pretty much anything that's moving. They're really aggressive fish. But now, I'll show you guys some snakehead I've caught. Oh. Got him. That was sick. Dang, that is an orange snake head. That's about a four or five solid snake. Really orange. That's crazy. Look how orange that is. Probably about a five pounder. Yeah, around five. Let's get a release. There he goes. That was sick. Got him. That's a good one. Oh, it's not that big. Dang, that was sick. Right away. Another really orange snake. Relax, relax. Oh, okay. Let's see if he wants to let himself off. Nope, he just wants to go crazy. Got him. Dang it. That was sick. Oh. Jesus. These things fight so hard. Oh my god. Okay. That's a toad. That's a toad. Okay. There we go. That's about six or seven. That's a good one, let's go. These things fight so hard. Finally got braid, so I'm not gonna snap off. Oh my God, on the tiny Booyah pad crasher. This is so fun. That was sick. That was sick. Oh my God. Yes! Another snakehead. Let's go! Little guy. Okay! That's a toad. Don't snap me. Oh my god. Holy smokes. That was about a 10 pounder. That's another toad. Yep, that's a big one. Nope, I'm horsing you out. You're not getting off. 
don't get off. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, he's still on. Yep. That's a good one. There we go. That's like a seven or eight. All right, guys, this is a really heavy, but quadruple up on snakehead. I'll show you guys the biggest one. All right, here's the biggest one, a giant fish. So yeah, solid snakehead. Let's get a release on them. All right, guys, let's get a release on the snakehead. I'll go smallest first. There he goes. Right, that's the smallest one. Actually, this one might. Yeah, this one was the smallest one. Whoops. Right, this one's the. This one was the smallest one. That one was about three. This is probably about two and a half. You ready, bud? Alright, he's ready. There he goes. so hard. He's a peak. What the heck? This is just a tiny little one. And he went crazy. Alright, there he goes. I've caught like eight snakehead today. go first snake of the day first little snake of the day probably about a three pounder not too big there you go Uh, frog, top water. <laughs> yep, we doubled. Solid, not really solid, but about a four, three or four pound fish. Alright guys, solid five pound snake. I thought it was smaller. He fought really hard. Pretty ugly one, he's like dark brown. But yeah, let's get a release. Alright, solid five pounder. There he goes. Oh, snake, oh my god, oh my god. That thing's huge. Oh my god, so much bigger. That's actually a really big one. Look how fat it is. Actually, yeah. look how fat oh, it is. That's actually really fat. Yeah, that's huge. But Alright guys, solid, almost a 9 pounder, 8.76. Alright guys, here's the snake, my scale said 8, but that's a toad, look how fat it is. It's so fat, all the fish here are like super fat. So there we go, another giant snake. Alright, we got the double up too, mine's definitely smaller. Alright, these just went right away. Big Bertha, oh, there goes Big Bertha. 
right, so as you can see, I caught a ton of snakehead this week. They love the rain. They always come out after it rains. They love going up shallow and just resting up against the bank. So yeah, it was really fun catching snakehead. They fight super hard. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something. And I'll catch you next time in the next episode of Fishing Florida.